I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Asperger's Syndrome because I have it. I've only known for a year. But if you have Asperger's, you've kind of known your whole life that you've had it. You just didn't know what it was. It's hard to explain. What I've noticed from a lot of people that I've seen their videos that have Asperger's is we all tend to talk in a certain type of tone. We all move a certain way. Um, I think this is because we have to act in society because we're inside our, our own minds so much that to actually respond to everything going around us, it's a lot. Bright lights, stimulus, it's just too much for me sometimes. I just have to keep it calm, go back to my own world where it's safe. Speaking of, I started a little hobby about seven years ago, almost, it's coming up on seven years ago. I started making quilts. I've never used a sewing machine, I'm afraid of them, but I've always wanted a puff quilt. So what I did was, I took a sheet and I started putting little squares on it, just different sizes and filling them full of stuffing. Uh, polyfill, and it took me a year to make that quilt. A year. Um, I'm a strong believer in faith. Faith helps me to make things. I got faster. This is quilt number 91 by him. Name of its fractions, and it's the only one I own. So it has my favorite fabric on it. You can see it's my favorite fabric because I actually have a fabric frame. And that's a doll that represents my mommy. Okay, so how do you make one of these? It's not hard, really. I was asked today, how do you make one? It's someone that came over, and the answer was so simple. I said, you need sheets. You need stuffed animals, and you need clothes. That's pretty much it. Other than thread and pens and needles, that's all I use. I never use a sewing machine. I start with a sheet. A good way to show you the process. This is kind of like a how-to. Okay, so, we start with your basic sheet. And quilt number 98, which is the one I'm on right now. I also have a sheet that I can draw on because I'm going to have a big mouth. I'm going to have a big mouth? Really? It's going to be a cat, the Cheshire. I've already made one. This is going to be slightly different for King Daniel, my royal few. And Son of David. So, I had to have a sheet that I can draw on to make so it's blank. So the backing of King Daniel's Cheshire cat quilt, the back of the sheet. There's obviously be a sheet on the back of it. See here? We back it with the sheet when we're done. It's going to be this. So, he wants black fur. So I got black vintage material that's velvety wrong feeling. But this jacket has cool pockets on it that I'm going to be able to incorporate into the quilt. So it'll be a black background, big teeth, big white teeth, red or pink lips, I'm not sure yet, because I have the pink, but I can't find the red. So that's what that's going to look like. So we move on to quilt number 99, which I've already got a little start on, because I had to wait for the material one, quilt 98. Same thing, you just start with the sheet. Now the sheet that you're working on has to be this much bigger around all the edges. I mean, scratch that. The sheet that you're working has, on has to be the, this much smaller around all the edges than the sheet you're going to back it with because you have to fold it over like this. You have to allow yourself that much room, which is this much room around all the edges. So I've already pre-cut this to fit the back that I'm going to put on it. So that's what I'm going to do with those as well. Moving right along. I buy these for a dollar. 
They're dollar ninety nine. I can find them for a dollar. Does it seem possible that a person can use this much thread? Yes, I've gone through a lot of spools of this, but I think this must might be enough to last me for two years. That's what I'm hoping. I hope so, because that's the only thing I buy there is the thread. Okay, so we got quilt number ninety eight, number ninety nine. We're moving to a hundred. I got vintage fabric from King Selene's family. A little preview of what the quilt might be. Beautiful. Beautiful things. There's something pink in there. I saw that. I was like, what? What is it? It's shiny. Whoa, yeah, it's gorgeous. So, quilt number 100, you just could imagine. Beautiful, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be an heirloom quilt for King Selene and his family. And I am very blessed to do this, and I do this because I have the power of knowing that I'm very blessed to have a gift, and I'm very blessed to have child and a husband and a fire and loving family. It's possible.